But even in the half a mile range, look at the rest of them. Uh, yeah. Right now we're looking at our NavNet 3D system, uh, which is a chart plotter mode right now, looking at a raster chart image with our detailed satellite photo images turned on as well. And you can see how the chart photo fusion uh, mixes very nicely in Port Everglades, which is where we are coming in, uh, uh, going westbound. One of the nice things about NavNet 3D is that with the built-in charts, we can actually either show a raster chart or I can simply press the display key and go to a dual chart image where I show both charts together. And here I'm going to show a raster chart on the left-hand side and a vector chart, which is the NOAA S57 chart on the right-hand side. And it's very easy for me to control and configure each one. And you can see the NOAA chart, I'm actually in 3D mode. And I can easily go in from here and turn on the radar overlay for the NOAA chart. And there you can see is our radar overlay. Uh, one of the nice things about NavNet 3D is the capability to bring in AIS targets in actual size. So I can actually look over here and see that I can bring in my, my ships that are actually in port right here. I can look at the actual size of the icon, which is in green here, and these are actual ships. We can actually look at those ships right over there. Or if I want to, I can actually bring the, bring the boat back and look at it here and head out the inlet. It's also very simple to turn on our radar system right here in the radar overlay. And I would just go into my overlay mode and click on the radar and turn on the radar image. And you see how finely tuned the radar image is. I'm picking up the vessels around us, including all the buoys in a, in a normal 3D, in a, actually in a 3D perspective mode, and easily change back to two dimensions to get, if I feel more comfortable, using two dimensions. And you can see how perfectly the actual buoys line up here, looking at each buoy. You can see here there's a, there's a large commercial vessel, actually a cruise ship, coming out of the harbor. And I'm actually overlaying the radar over the top of their AIS information. So if I go back and turn the radar overlay off, I can easily see the AIS target, 